Peace and blessings. Welcome back to the channel once again, where we talk all things health and healing from a holistic perspective. And today will be no different. All right. So today <laughs> I'm about to have a conversation with you guys about how prevalent parasites are. And a lot of things that you don't know is caused by parasites. And all you simply need to do is the things that I'm going to tell you during this video to help you get rid of those parasites. And it will absolutely take care of a lot of conditions that people are unfortunately suffering with. Now, I'll start by saying this. This video probably won't get seen by most people. Uh, a lot of people who are my colleagues, my peers who do what I do, um, teach in a holistic and natural way give uh, holistic uh, approaches to how they address health problems. Uh, a lot of them, once they started talking about parasites in this way, unfortunately, they either got kicked off the platform or what have you. Uh, but this is important. And I think uh, I got to have the conversation. So it's been on my mind for a while. I've had the conversation before in the past, but I haven't had it at this depth. And so here it goes. If you see it, you see it. <laughs> All right. So this video again is how to get rid of parasites naturally and some of the key herbs to help you do that and some other things as well, too. But before we get into that, I think it's important to know a little bit about parasites, um, because when you hear about it, you think about these alien movies and you think about the fungus that gets inside of an ant and starts to control the ant's brain. Um, but in a lot of senses, in human intestinal parasites and parasites in general in the body, um, they do a lot of the same things. They can control our taste buds. They can control us in ways that are very similar to a lot of those sci-fi movies that we watch. And when they get into our bodies and they get into our bodies various ways, um, through physical exposure, through what we eat, um, also through, you know, uh, other types of exposures too. I won't go into that depth. But when parasites are in the body, it's important to know that the reason why they call them parasites is because you're in a parasitic relationship, meaning there's only one person or thing benefiting from this relationship, and that is the parasite. And so they take, okay? They not only take in the sense of they can steal your minerals, your vitamins, etc., and create deficiencies, but they're also very toxic because a lot of these parasites will actually create their own waste. That's right. They poop and pee inside of you and increase ammonia in the body, which could actually cause you to be very fatigued, tired, and have sleep issues as well, too. This is why I always say the freaks come out at night, okay? It's not just the parasites that wake up okay in the nighttime okay and cause you to have that sweet tooth at nighttime cause you to want something that's sweet cause you to want something that is bread like pasta like etc okay those cues aren't coming just from you okay your adoration for those foods isn't coming just from you so it's really important to know that and un understand that you know, when they get into the body, they're not only wreaking havoc in terms of like causing tissue damage and causing issues among deficiency, but also toxicity as well, too, in the form of creating waste and other things as well, too. The other thing that's important is that the diet that is the standard American diet feeds it. OK, and even some plant based diets where people are overindulging and white flour and refined carbohydrates is feeding it as well too. So sugar feeds it, refined foods, processed foods feeds these parasites. You know, refined carbohydrates, as I just mentioned, meat, dairy, all feed parasites, okay? And some of them, par the parasites actually come from the meat as well too. And it's really important to understand that as anything decomposes and starts to break down, it will start to manifest you know, certain things. We know that when food starts to break down, it creates a fungus, okay? When meat starts to break down, it starts to create critters like parasites as well, too. And nothing can stop that process. I think that's the most important thing that people need to know and understand. Nothing can stop that process. That is a natural process. 
that is very important to the cycle of life. If we didn't decompose and break down, we would have bodies that are still essentially flesh from hundreds of millions of years ago. So everything is made to come from the earth and then go back into the earth, okay? Hugely important. And part, part of how nature and its the divine perfection has set it up to make this cycle complete for us is that we come into life, we form from nature, and then we decompose and everything that nature get, gives us breaks down and goes back into nature. But those parasites, the fungus, all of those critters are part of that cycle, okay? And sometimes we speed up the process by eating certain things and allowing these certain certain critters like parasites to get into our body. So hugely important. And understanding also that your environment will determine whether a parasite will flourish, your internal environment, whether it will flourish or flee, okay? Because if your body isn't set up to make sure that these parasites are being fed and nourished and you're eating things that are actually not only something that they don't want to eat, but something that will actually kill them, foods that I'll talk about in just a second, herbs that I'll talk about in just a second, then again, you have to understand that you play a key role in this. And I'll tell you this before we get started, you will rarely, rarely see going to a doctor and when I name some of these symptoms, you rarely have a doctor who will test you for a parasite, okay? And I've even had gone to the lab in the hospital and asked after they, you know, spun the sample and asked like, well, did you see any parasites? And they were like, well, yeah. And I'm like, well, why didn't you tell the doctor? And they're like, well, I did. But then when I saw the test, it was removed off of it. So it's really important to understand that. And I don't think any malice. I just think this is something we were not taught in school. They don't teach us about parasites and their impact on not only, you know, the degeneration of our health, but the the impact and how they're directly correlated with a lot of chronic illnesses, high blood pressure, heart disease. OK the big C word, okay? It's really important to understand. And even in other countries, they're using things to kill parasites. Like there was a drug that cost like five cents a, a tablet. Very safe ivermectin that is a, used for parasites. But during that whole period of th two to three years where we were being isolated and told to stay at home and other countries, they were using this and was very effective but here they outlawed it, they banned it, and we could not get access to it, like five cents a tablet, hugely important, okay? Now, with that being said, we're gonna go over some types of parasites. And I, the reason why I'm gonna give you the types is because I, I did this in a previous video, so if you wanna go back and look at that video, I'll go in more depth about the different types because they do different things to the body, the different types of parasites that I highly recommend going back, looking at that video. I'm just gonna fly through this. We're gonna get to the symptoms and then we're gonna get to the solutions, okay? So different types you have, um, you have a horsehair worm, worm. That horsehair worm will live in the kidneys, it will cause back issues, and it also will come out in the urine, okay? And a lot of us don't check our stools, don't check our, our urine, so even if it did come out, you probably wouldn't see it. Some of them are very small. Some of them like tapeworms, tapeworms could be up to three feet long, okay? Which I've seen come out. <laughs> I've seen people do my detox and it comes out in the stool sometimes as well too, okay? Other types of parasite, pinworms. Pinworms uh, commonly are associated with an itchy anus, okay? When at, especially at night, because again, the freaks come out at night, okay? So, uh, and sometimes these pinworms can create a vaginal discharge with women. And sometimes that vaginal discharge could be confused as either uh, candida or yeast or yeast infection or, you know, BV. But sometimes it's a parasite. And this particular parasite, pinworms, can cause this, okay? Another type is hookworms, which could 
could cause anemia. And hookworms hook to the lining, the inner lining of your, your bowels, okay? And they essentially are like vampires just feeding off of the blood, okay? You also have toxoplasmosis, which I'll talk about a little bit later. There's another type of pa pa um, parasite. You have tapeworms, uh, giardia, which is commonly found in our, you know, tap water, okay? Flukes, roundworms, um, which could be found in both the liver and the pancreas, and they affect the liver and the pancreas. So again, you got a liver issue, you got a pancreas issue, it could be associated with this particular type of parasite. And roundworms could also cause abd abdominal pain. So if you got abdominal pain, you really don't know where it's coming from, it could be coming from that. And roundworms uh, commonly come from our pets. So if you got dogs, cats, uh, it definitely can come from them as well too. And that's a whole nother video that I definitely need to do in the future. Uh, you got helmets and protozoa. So you got many different types of parasites. What are some of the symptoms? I'll blaze through these as well, because again, I did a whole video on this. So you, if you wanna kind of dive deep into that, go back and look at that video. Bloating. Bloating is a big symptom, especially if you're eating, uh, uh, even if you're eating a really good diet, okay? You gotta understand if you got these parasites prior to, to embracing that new diet, you still got the parasites, okay? A good diet doesn't kill parasites. I think that's really important to mention because even myself, after adopting a very healthy diet and being very fit, but noticing that I'm bloated, especially, you know, that 12 o'clock bloat that comes, I wake up in the morning, my stomach's super flat. I can see my abs and then I get a 12, 12 noon bloat, a lunchtime bloat. That most likely is parasites. That happened to me and I finally figured it out. And um, this is very early in my journey. And this is how I created my detox, that parasite cleanse that you guys have done. Okay. And that is really what saved me because I'm thinking like, man, I'm fit everywhere else. My arms are great. My legs are great. My chest is great. But I got this bloated belly. And sometimes you see it with a lot of bodybuilders. They'll be fit everywhere, but then they'll have that bloated belly. Okay, it could be the parasites. I mean, it also could be the steroids, of course, but it could be the parasites as well, too. So a bloated belly is a big sign, especially if you fit everywhere else and, it, and you pinch your stomach and there's not a lot of fat there. It's just a protruding belly. It could be the parasite. In many cases, it is. And it definitely was for me. Acne breakouts, especially persistent acne. Acne that despite what your diet change it, changes, you correct your hormones, and you still are having these breakouts. Definitely could be parasites, hugely important. Um, random pain and pressure in the abdomen, as I mentioned before with round worms. Um, but when you have that random pain and pressure, especially on this, on this uh, right side where the liver is, okay? That could definitely be a sign of parasites, okay? Also, uh, if you have a condition like IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, um, Crohn's, um, that could be associated with the fluke worm, okay? So that could be flukes. Uh, if you're suffering with conditions like endometriosis, fibroids, uh, your breast has very dense tissue in them, or infertility, uh, these things are associated with the um, parasite Giardia, okay? Or it could be pinworms, okay? And I know you're thinking to yourself, how could this be? Trust me, do the research, look it up. Um, that definitely could be one of the things as well, among other complicating factors, okay? So it could be the parasite in combination with the fact that you're eating the things that I was telling you earlier, that are feeding the parasites, if that makes sense to you. So one thing could be feeding the parasites and the parasites are making the issue even more complicated, hugely important. So endometriosis, fibroids, picos, dense tissue in the breasts, uh, or infertility, giardia or pinworms, okay? Anxiety, depression, um, mood changes, bipolarism, um, you know, being bipolar, 
uh, schizophrenia. Uh, these also can be associated with toxoplasmosis and also autoimmune issues like MS, multiple sclerosis, can be associated with the parasite toxoplasmosis. Okay, hugely important. I mentioned itchy anus, which could be the pinworms and then sleep issues. If you're waking up in the middle of the night, can't go back to sleep, it's because the, the parasites are literally waking you up with all the peeing and the urine that they're flushing out because they wake up at night and that ammonia wakes you up, okay? So now that we've gone over the symptoms, we've gone over the types of parasites, let's get into what are some parasite killers? What are some things you could do? What are some herbs you could take to start to address this issue? Even foods, all right? One of the things you could do is you can start using an infrared sauna. It's been shown that infrared sauna helps to kill certain parasites, okay? So you can start incorporating that into your routine. You could do it before or after your workout. You can just do it at home as well, too. You can get portable infrared light as well, too. So that is a combination of things you could do, but infrared sauna can help with that, all right? Papaya seeds, okay? Papaya seeds are anti-parasitic, okay? So a lot of times when I eat my papaya, I will take some of those seeds. Just make sure you get organic because there's a lot of GMO uh, papaya, okay? So papaya seeds can be very anti-parasitic as well too, okay? So I usually get them, clean them off, let them dry out, and then I'll crush them up. I'll put them in my smoothies or I'll just put it in a, you know, a small teaspoon or half a teaspoon in water. Now, here's the thing. I use those same papaya seeds crushed up as a black pepper substitute, okay? So they do have a little kick to them, so you don't want to take too much. Just a little tip for you. Pumpkin seeds, okay? Pumpkin seeds, parasites do not like pumpkin seeds, okay? So you can eat those first thing in the morning to be helpful as well too. Uh, bentonite clay. You can use the bentonite clay to catch um, the actual parasites in your gut, okay? So they'll actually bind up these parasites to pull them out of the gut when you have a bowel movement, which we'll talk about in a minute because most people are constipated. So you could be eating these things. The bentonite clay could be binding them up. You could be using the infrared sauna, but if you don't actually open up your bowels and your elimination pathways, they'll stay in the body. And guess what? They lay eggs. They're laying these larvae all the time. So you may kill the actual parasite, but then the larva hatches and then boom, the whole cycle begins again. Okay, so that's why that's hugely important. We'll talk about that in just a second. You also can use sound frequency. Okay, now this is one that is not often talked about. Okay, you can use sound frequency for a lot of different things. If you go back and look at a lot of the hieroglyphics and go, go online and check out a lot of the the paintings in Egypt, what you'll notice is, is that a lot of the, the gods and also some of the pharaohs would have a tuning fork in one hand and a little hammer in the other. And they would use that tuning fork and hammer to create certain frequencies for healing as a method of healing, okay? And that hertz or sound frequency that you can use for parasites is 1150 hertz. Okay, you can go on YouTube, check out 1150 Hertz, Parasite Healing. You'll find it in abundance, okay? What I did during that time was I found one on YouTube. I would play it at night when I was asleep, okay? Because again, the freaks come out at night, all right? Now let's get into some herbs. One of my favorite things, being a herbalist and being a naturalist, okay? One of the herbs that I use, and I use this in my detox, we'll talk about this in just a second, is cloves, okay? Now, you'll probably remember, if you're anything like me, your family during the holidays would either make a turkey or make a ham, and when they would make a turkey or a ham, they would put a ring of pineapple, and then they would put like a, like a toothpick and then put like a cherry in it, and then they would put cloves in there, okay? They will put cloves in it to kill the parasites that are coming from the meat. Most people don't know that. They just thought that they would put that in there as a seasoning, but our ancestors were actually using herbs to protect themselves, especially during those times when they realized that, you know, like 
for us as Africans and those who are part of the diaspora, when we came here against our will, we only could eat what was made available to us. And, co and so we understood herbology, we understood how to use herbs. And so quite often what will happen is when they would have to eat pork or eat ham, they know that these animals create a lot of parasites. And so as a result, they would use the clothes in there to get rid of and kill to help kill the parasites, okay? And a really good thing about clothes is they help to eradicate parasitic eggs. So the eggs that the parasites are, are, are laying, the clothes are really good for actually helping to kill those eggs, which is hugely important because if you kill the parasite but you don't kill the eggs, the process is just gonna repeat itself, hugely important. Wormwood. Okay, wormwood, which is a herb that was used by Egyptians, okay, to expel intestinal worms, okay? Remember I was telling you, those intestinal worms is what's causing all that bloat, okay? That discomfort, that pain in the gut, okay? And so wormwood is a really good herb to actually help to expel some of those intestinal parasites, okay? Black walnut hole. Now, if you're allergic, to any kind of nuts, then I would have caution with this one, okay? Uh, I have had people who were allergic to, the, to nuts and they asked if they could do my detox and I told them, hey, I don't recommend it. They went to their doctor, they got tested to see if they had absolutely any allergies to black walnut hell. They didn't, they did the t detox with success, but I would highly recommend you do exactly that. Follow up with your doctor, get an allergy test just to make sure, okay? Because we don't need anybody having any issues, okay? The next, and wait, let me say this about black walnut hull, which is what one that I really like. It's one of the herbs that is actually in my Parasite Candida cleanse. What I love about black walnut hull and what you'll, what you'll notice in a, is that I'm using different herbs for different reasons, okay? To address um, the parasite directly, and then to also address the eggs. So I got a herb, a herb specifically in there to address the eggs that are being laid. And then I got a herb like black walnut hole, which oxygenates the blood to kill parasites. Now this is important too. All right. So, cause here's the thing. Parasites aren't just in our gut. I've seen under a light where I put a light to someone's eye because they thought they would be seeing something. They were like, when I'm looking, I feel like I'm seeing something, but I don't see anything in front of me. So I put a light to their eye. And when I looked into the pupil, you could see the parasite moving around in their eye. Okay. So that's why I'm saying it's important to understand that you have to kill this on a total level. It can't be targeted just for the gut. Parasites can get anywhere in the body. Okay, so it's hugely important, especially once they get in the blood. So this is why I use black walnut hole because it oxygenates the body and that kills the parasites. Okay, another herb that I use in my detox as well is oregano. Okay, yeah, that same oregano that you sprinkle on there, I use a form of oregano that helps to reduce the parasitic infectivity. So the level in which it affects it reduces that level of infectivity. So you see the multiple levels. Uh, a herb that directly impacts the parasite, a herb that kills the worms, a herb that ox oxygenates the blood to kill, kill parasites, and then a herb in there to reduce the infectivity level of the parasite, okay? And so that is my parasite candida cleanse. Now. The thing about mine, you can see in there, you can see the herbs, the black walnut hole, the cloves, the wormwood. Uh, also, Paul, Di Paul Diarco, Diarco is also another herb as well, too. And I also use neem because I not only want to get rid of the parasites, I also want to get rid of the yeast. So this is why it's called a parasite candida cleanse. OK, this could be again, parasites could be the reason why you got inflammation all over your body. Parasites can be the reason why you're always fatigued and you have brain fog all the time. Parasites can be the reason you're so bloated. Parasites can be the cause of a lot of different things because most people are infected with parasites. Now, the difference with my detox, as always, 
you not only get the Parasite Candida Cleanse, but you also get the Tommy Tetox, which is going to open up those elimination pathways, including the bowels, to expel out those parasites, which is hugely important. All right. So it's, all, it's also really important to have a system not only to target the parasites, but also to open up those elimination pathways to get them out of the body. Because again, when you see somebody who's constantly breaking out their acne, they've changed their diet, they exercise, they change their lifestyle, nothing has worked. A lot of times it could be the yeast. It could be, even be parasites as well too. Okay, so now you got to specifically target those. And to target those, again, the skin is just another elimination pathway. And part of what the detox does, it opens up all seven of those elimination pathways, which is hugely important because by any means necessary, you need to get them out of the body. You can't just kill them and they remain in the body. So I hope this has been helpful. Please share this video with anybody out there because a lot of times you're going through a struggle with your health and you're doing this and you're doing that and nothing's working and it could be because of parasites and yeast in your body. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button. That's how you guys show me love. That's how you show me appreciation. And I'm so thankful for you guys sharing your experiences with everybody out there. This is what keeps the message, the movement going, okay? Comment below if you've done my detox. Talk about some of the benefits. Share that with the audience because a lot of people out there are hearing this detox, this parasite cleanse, those type of things. Also, go on my website, go under my detox, look at the reviews. Go on YouTube and put in Dr. Bobby Price, either detox or parasite cleanse. Hear what other people are saying. OK, it is a game changer that you're never going to hear about in, tra in the, the traditional setting. I'm using air quotes. All right. So until the next time, peace and blessing and Godspeed. Stay healthy, be healthy and be wise. Wise up. Understand that health is your greatest form of wealth. It is what attaches you to becoming the highest form of yourself. Understand that everything that is attached to everything you're dreaming about is attached to you being the healthiest version of you. All right. Until the next time, peace and blessings and Godspeed.